ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਬਿਗਨ ਮਾਈ ਜਰਨੀ ਔਨ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਪਾਥ ਔਨ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਸ ਪਾਥ ਵੈਨ ਆਵਰ 6 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ there was a question in my mind that used to bother me a lot that time who is god then from that question comes you know what is religion what are the functions of religion and what is the purpose of life those questions have come into my mind when i was 6 years old when i was a young boy i was born in the catholic environment i was raised in the catholic environment before as my mom is a devout catholic while my father is a buddhist yeah so even when i was properly educated in the catholic environment by my mom and in the school I couldn't find any satisfaction in terms of my spiritual life by the time I began my journey on searching to the path of truth from the age of 6 by searching and searching learning and learning in libraries because at that time we don't we didn't have any internet connection whatsoever internet was not available we have only we had only books so i began to do my own research my own studies and make you know small comparisons between one religion to the other religion i came up to the point that every religion is the same you know everyone teaches uh, the same thing you know goodness every true religion every true religion teaches goodness for everyone and uh, that really that didn't satisfy my thirst in the spiritual journey by the time yeah then up to a point when i was 10 year old 10 years old it was on my birthday my 10th birthday my mom gave me a book as a birthday present uh, it's a book about world religions and from that book i begin to know what is sikhism for the first time ever in my life um and coincidentally that word sikhism connects with my mind because i used to pass the sikh temple local sikh temple in jakarta where, where, where the, the place was or the place uh, where i was born i used to pass the temple the gurdwara every day on my way to school yeah so uh, finally when i was 10 year old i found out okay what is sikhism from that book it's a great religion and i did the, my small studies by the time and well because of uh, limited resources my studies were limited on sikhi by the time i made a small conclusion by the time that sikhism was just like a normal other religion which is good uh, pretty much nothing different with the other religion but again a question still you know lingers in my mind about the true religion for my life my own life and so i i begin on my further research on this new religion in my studies which is which is called sikhism the time i search on books on sikhism i went from libraries to libraries bookshops to bookshops and finally i found some good resources and slowly i begin to find that hey hang on this religion is uh, not is is not really the same as uh, 
the other religions that I've uh, been studying so far, at least to me personally, yeah? at least to me personally. We, in, in my family, we used to have uh, annual holiday, family holiday, yeah, just to have a break from our daily uh, activities, take some break to Singapore every year. By the time I was staying in the, in the hotel where I was uh, staying in, in Singapore, had a few Sardars, Sikh Sardars working there as uh, their uh, clerk, the hotel clerk, the hotel officers and uh, the, the, the security guard. So I approached them and I, 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 I tried to be friendly, I make friends with them. And from them, I gain some more knowledge about basic Sikhism by that time. I was only 11, nearly 11 years old by that time. Yeah. They gave me an address in Singapore, which is uh, actually the bookshop, the, the Sikh bookshop, the most complete Sikh bookshop in Singapore. So without any delay, I made my, my, my way to that bookshop and, you know, it happened that that bookshop was in the that bookshop is located until now is located in a, one of the prominent gurdwaras in Singapore. So I went to the bookshop at the time. I bought some books, and I made friends with the Granthi by the time the Gyani. Yeah, and we have to know during those times in the past, Gyanis, so-called Pracharaks, Gyanis Katavachak. Granthis, they were all nearly were Jeevanwale, Nitanemi. Not just mere fake Gyanis who just, you know, traveling around the world wearing their kurta pajama, wearing their chola to make money from the Sangat yeah, without giving anything back to the Sangat. The goodness, the, the teachings that the Sangats require. So I made friends with them, and they, they, they were fluent in English, because by the time I couldn't speak Punjab at all, nothing at all. So I made friends with the Gyanis, and the Gyanis did help me a lot. They gave me so much information and even so many free books on Sikhi, and they, they told me, learn the books properly. And um, we were on, basically on, on, on contact by phone nearly nearly you know every weekend or so so I made friends with them and I gained my knowledge my basic knowledge uh, of Sikhi from them initially when I was 11 year old and one of the best the best the best friend of mine who is still a Granthi there a senior very senior Granthi in Singapore his name is Gyani Bikar Singh he's a student of uh, Sant Guru Bachar Singh Pin Ramale mm -hmm. later on uh, in my life I found that he is the student of uh, Baba Guru Bhajan Singh Ji in Ramali. So he was the one who really, really, from his heart, have been educating me in Sikhi on my early life. He gave me basic Santhya also on basic Nitinambanis, although I was not, I was not even a Sikh by the time, yeah. Then slowly, 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 he gave me so much more resources on Sikh histories about the Shahids, yeah, the great Sants, the great Mahapurush in uh, Sikh Panth. Upon learning the history of Baba Deep Singh Ji Shahid, Baba Fateh Singh Ji Shahid, Baba Gurbak Singh Ji Shahid, Baba Banda Singh Ji Bahadur, all the great Shahids of the Panth, Akali Pula Singh Ji. Somewhere, somehow, there is a fresh power to coming from my soul and making me more attached to Sikhi. 
I was questioning, you know, who are these great souls of the Panth? They were so passionate in sacrificing their life for the Panth. There must be a reason behind that, which is love, their love for the religion. What made them fall in love so much to the Guru? So I begin to find that and learn and Because of the history, I finally, I fall in love with Sikhi. And I've made a conclusion in my life, for my life, that Sikhi, the pathway of Sikhi is a pathway of the Shahidi. We have to sacrifice our own ego first. Apna, apne mannu marna chona, marna pehna pehla. How many who nash karna chahida hai? A sikhi da marga hai. Shihidi da marga. So, from there, I made my own mind, my own decision that I'm taking sikhi as my pathway in life. Yeah. I began to chat with my parents. I was only uh, nearly 12 years old by the time I, I began to chat with my parents, especially my father. My father is a very devout Buddhist and very open-minded person, very wise. He gave me an advice that, look, keep on learning, take the goodness, and later on the day you can decide whatever fit for you. Unlike my mom, my mom is a very, very great lady, very great person. But she's a staunch Catholic on the other side, yeah? And I was, you know, because of their, um, you know, religious rule, I was born and baptized, not by my choice, but my, by my parents' choice, I was baptized in Catholic when I was a baby, when I was born. So my mom tried, naturally, she tried their, their level best to keep me intact with the Catholicism by the time. All right. I was a bit irritated to be honest, but I couldn't do much. I couldn't uh, say any bitter words towards my parents because Guru Maharaj doesn't allow that, you know. Even in Guru Granth Sahib, also in Rehat Nama, Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj stated that, you know, as a child, you shouldn't mention any harsh words to your parents. Never ever. So. Uh, I had that struggle in my mind, you know, like, look, okay, I have to study the Sikhi even further to strengthen my love in, uh, with, with the Guru, but at the same time, I have to keep quiet and hide from my parents, hide all the stuff, all the books, everything. And um, on my 12th birthday, I asked my mom, my parents, yeah, my mom and dad, not to buy me any gift for birthday. Not even cake or anything. Nah, nothing. Yeah. I only asked them permission. Like, look, I just need to borrow the car uh, to get me to the Gurdwara. I want to know more about these uh, people in this Gurdwara. I want to know. I want to, want to I want to learn more about Sikhi. So because it was my birthday, my parents uh, say yes. Okay, good. They sent me to the Gurdwara. It was Sunday morning. Gurdwara was crowded in Jakarta. It was in central Jakarta. And uh, okay, by the time I've been before before I came for the first time in my life to the Gurdwara in Jakarta, I've been coming up and down to other Gurdwaras in Singapore during the holidays that we have been through. I saw Sikhs with their Panjaka cars, yes, normal. And the Sikhi Swarup that I've had seen in, uh, in Singapore by the time, the Puran Sikhi Swarup, you know, with, with the Panjaka car, are the ones that I found matching with the books that I've learned. This is the Sikh identity. So I was hoping, initially before I come to the Gurdwara in Jakarta, I was hoping that 
I'm going to see all of this. I I want to I want to see the the Khalsa root there, because one thing also I have to remind you that Sikhi Swarup, the most precious animal gift from the Guru, is also one of the things that make me fall in love with Sikhi so much. And Sikhi Swarup is the one that really make me respect the religion a lot. Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj says, when you see a Sikhi Swarup, you see me. You have my darshan. So, I was expecting that before I arrived in the local Gurdwar in Jakarta for the first time ever in my life. What happened when I arrived in the car park? I didn't see any by that time. They were all, they were all clean shaven. And even to the worst of uh, my expectation, one of the one or two uncles I remember that time very well were smoking in front of the at the gates of the Gurdwara outside the outside the Gurdwara premise. They were wearing kara, but they were all clean shaven. So I I I was asking the people around there when I arrived. I said like, look, is this um, the Sikh temple? And they answered me in Indonesian language. Yes, yes, yes. This is the Sikh temple. Yeah. I said, are you Sikh? Simply out of uh, you know. My innocence, I just asked them, are you Sikh? Yeah, 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 they, 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 they give me answer, yeah, we are Sikhs, yeah, of course. Look at this, we, we, we have the kara. Then I asked them, where is your hair and where is your beard? Where is your, where is your turban? Where is your kirpan? Look, we are the modern Sikhs. I said like, okay, all right. Um, can I meet the, the, the gyani or the grantis inside? I just want to chat with them. I just want to learn. And they were laughing at me, and even one of them, one of the uncles there, uh, answered me. Look, uh, young boy, are you coming here to learn or just uh, looking around for Punjabi girls? I was a 12-year-old boy. And that fellow asked me that question. That question really nearly tore my heart apart, you know, towards Sikhi. But then I said, like, look, why should I bother these people? Because if they, they are not even Sikhs. In my mind, I keep that, 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 that principle. Why should I bother them? So I said, like, look, okay, you just stay here, and I, I just walk inside. So I went inside, and I met the Granthi, and Guru Maharaj Kirpakaran. That time, the Granthi there, who just passed away, who, who already passed away, was a Jeevan Wala Gurmukh. Baba Randhiri Singh Ji. Yeah. Very wise person, very elder, very, very old person. That time when I met him, he was nearly 90 year old. Yeah. So he gave me a lot of teachings and he, he hugged me for the first time. He said, like, welcome. He hugged me and he spoke to me in, in, in uh, well, in, um, in, in pretty much good English. Yeah. He hugged me and he said, like, okay, how can we help you? So I learned, I began, I began my relationship, uh, friendship with them, with the Granthis there. Learned my more, my more knowledge. And this keep, keep on happening until finally I reached a uh, 14 uh, year old. When I was 14, my parents also know that I've been going to Gurdwaras, you know, quietly without telling them. On, on my way back from, from school, you know, to be honest, I used to lie to my parents. I, I used to tell lie to my parents. I say, like, I, I used to say that, look, I have uh, some basketball tournaments in school with friends, so I'll be coming home late, or I want to go to my friend's house for a game after, after, after school. But indeed, all of those were a lie. I used to come to Gurdwara quietly. I changed my clothes. I learned how to tie turban from the Granthis. You know, by the time and the 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 local Punjabis they used to laugh at me, saying, "Look at this uh, silly boy, little little uh, fatty boy, you know, tying turban like that, you know." But I I didn't care. I said like, "I don't tie my turban for you. I don't give a damn to you. 
yeah I tie this because I want to see my guru I'm proud of this I used to tie the normal turban before before I was before I uh, I was ordained in the Nihang um, Sampradaya so I tied my turban outside 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 the Darbar Sahib with with the small mirror I entered the Darbar Sahib I learned from the Granthis there even had sometimes had had early dinner with them they shared their early dinners with me and we have a very good friendship yeah I learned so much from them until Baba Randil Singhi passed away and everything changed uh, system began to get even more corrupted there mm. unfortunately um, when I was nearly 14 before my birthday so I asked my parents again look I didn't want anything yeah I didn't want anything for my birthday gift only one thing please allow me so that I can be baptized into Sikhism I've chosen my way of life I've made uh, this final decision that I want to be a Sikh my father didn't, uh, you know, my father didn't uh, really um, go against me by the time because he said, that, look, maybe the, he only gave me this answer. You, maybe you, you, are, you are a bit too young at this time. Learn further. I didn't say no to you. Learn further and later on you can take your own decision yeah, properly when you are more matured. Then, while, while, while my mom was, you know, trying her level best even further to avoid me coming to Gurdwaras or in touch with any Sikh uh, person in, in Jakarta or even in Singapore, she tried her level best. Yeah. And uh, I didn't, that, you know, these this, this things didn't stop me from coming towards Sikhi. Even I began to think further, you know, how should I learn properly in a smart way so that my parents won't know anything? How should I get into Sikhi? How can I get, you know, uh, baptized in the, you know, how, how can I get, uh, how can I be taken into Amrit ceremony? without my parents even knowing it I, I used to make you know some some plans you know like that until one uh, on, on, the, on, on one occasion again we, we we went for a holiday in Singapore family holiday before that holiday I already made an arrangement with the grantees with my friends in Singapore the grantees all the grantees to arrange a <laughs> so-called Amritsan, Amritsan Char at that time because I didn't, you know, I, I used to think that Amritsan Char can be happened anytime, yeah? I made an arrangement with them before I come to the Singapore, before I arrived in Singapore when I was 14. What happened? Once I arrived in Singapore, all the grantees said to me, okay, there is nothing wrong. It is even good, and it is a very, 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 very happy occasion that you want to take Amrit. It's a very good. It's a very good news to us. And unfortunately, we have to tell you this: you have to learn for first. You have to practice first because at the moment you 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 you, you don't have any panjikakar with you. From now onwards, you have to start wearing the panjikakar and never, ever, ever, ever cut your hair even by mistake never even never ever do any BRB to your kesa even by mistake so I said like, okay but then to keep my hair you know how how can I explain this to my parents you know they, they, you know definitely they'll, they'll, they'll go against me like in in uh, in, in, a, in a big way in, in a big uh, in a harsh way 
grantees, uh, all the grantees uh, agreed that look, there were there were all five grantees. Yeah, those times they were Jiwan Wale. Yeah, so they agreed that look, we'll do Ardash for you, and we'll 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 take Guru Maharaj Hukam Nama, explain to you, and we'll give you the name, your Sikhi name from now, but. In front of Guru Maharaj, you have to you have to take a promise that you will never ever cut your hair again, from now onwards. And soonest after you you are ready, you have to take your Amrit. So they took the Mukwak, and from there, my previous name was Willy Kumar. Changed into what boxing from there. The Mukwak came as Baba. Uh, the, the 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 first the first letter of the Mukwak, yeah, by that time. So one of the Granthi, he was uh, he was called Gyani Gurmeer Singh Ji. From he was he was he was from Damdami Taksal also. Yeah. So he uh, he told he he gave the su suggestions to the others, like why don't we give this uh, you know there's this person uh, you know unique name. Uh, so let's give him the name Barbhak Singh. So I said like okay, I didn't know anything that by the time I didn't understand anything much by the time. So I just said, okay, they wrote letter as a proof that from this date onwards, this person has been given new name in Sikhi as Vardabhak Singh from this date onwards. I kept that letter properly. And before uh, we return back to Jakarta mm -hmm. on that holiday in Changi Airport, uh, I was sitting with my parents, you know, on the, in, in a boarding, uh, boarding room. I remember the grantees told me before I left, look from now onwards, you cannot tell any more lie to your parents because Sikhi doesn't go along with lies. It, it is against Gurmat. A lie is a lie. So I did a small ardas in my in my mind. I said, Guru Maharaj, now since I have uh, come to your pathway I don't want to tell a lie anymore to my parents but please help me to explain to my parents in your own language in your own way not my way you do your way not me after that small ardas I began to talk to my mom first I said, like mom I'm really sorry that for years I've been telling you a lot a lot a lot of lies I've never been to my parents, I've never been to my friend's house for game. I've never been for so-called basketball tournaments. All those basketball um, clothing I bought just um, to mask you around, just to, you know, to hide from you. So I, I told I told her first that I've been learning a lot about the religion and a few days ago I've got a new name which means I've come to the Sikh, uh, Sikh pathway and from this from this day onwards in my life I cannot cut my hair anymore it is my pride and it is my Guru's image that he gave to me the Gurus gave me this image yeah so I'm sorry to tell you this. I know you you are going to be very angry with me, but my guru told me not to tell a lie to anyone, especially to my parents. I was expecting seriously by that time I was I was so scared and I was expecting a lot a lot of slaps. I was expecting a lot of beatings from my mom, my, my dad. In the airport, but what happened? Tan Guru Nanak, Tan Guru Govind Singh Maharaj, Tan Guru Ram Das Achi Pacha, Tan Baba Deep Singh Shahid. They didn't. My mom did hug me by the time, with the tears coming out from from her eyes, saying that look. If you have chosen your pathway in Sikhi, we cannot do anything further. 
we cannot do anything further since you have already taken the pathway we cannot do anything further but we have a special request for you that we want you to fulfill if you have chosen yourself to be a Sikh I want you not to be a 100% Sikh that's the words that that's the words coming from my mom I don't want you to be a 100% Sikh but I want you to be a 200% Sikh not 100% but 200% Sikh be a good example be a good Sikh live your faith alive live your Sikhi alive so I was that answer was so unexpected it was one of the beauties day in my life yeah. until now it's all done by Guruji not by me their work not me yeah. so my journey uh, went, went on from there I, I began to keep my hair by uh, by few months time from there 14 years old i already had the small jura but my school the catholic school didn't accept that the headmistress was a catholic nun very staunch catholic nun in jakarta she knew that i was a catholic student and I used to be a top-class student in uh, all the religious studies, especially in Catholic studies. She, uh, all the nuns in the in the in, in my school, all the priests and the nuns, the Catholic nuns and school, uh, Catholic priests and nuns, used to approach my used to approach my parents to send me to the Catholic seminary to be to be to be educated as as a Catholic priest. But I said no. Because um, they, 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 they used to think like this because I, I used to be one of the best students in Catholic studies. So, upon arriving from Singapore, I already explained to the school principal, the Catholic nun, look, I've changed my religions. This is the, book, the, 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 the proof, the letter that was written by the Granthis, yeah, and with, with the date and the, with the head letter of the Gurdwara in Singapore. She said, okay, look, since you have changed your uh, religion and you have to keep your hair, the thing is, uh, her answer was like, like this, Sikhi, Sikhism is not one of the re uh, recognized religion in Indonesia. <coughs> so we need some proper letter from your local Gurdwaras here, from your local temples here in, in Jakarta, um, <coughs> stating that it is true that you have to keep your hair as part of your Sikhi identity, your religious identity. That time was actually around three to four, uh, around <coughs> three four months before before my final, very very final exam. Yeah. Um, secondary of, of my, my my final exam in my high school. I began to search. I began to approach all the gurdwaras in Jakarta. The, the committee members yeah, to help me with, uh, with, with, with the letters to explain to the school or even if they can come to the school and explain to the headmistress that I need to keep my hair I cannot cut my hair because uh, take in mind that that Catholic school that I used to study in they have a very strict rule saying that stating that all the boys have to have only one centimeter long hair and by that time my jura was already growing. Yeah. I used to gel, to, to mask my, my jura, I used to gel my, my hair properly, so it looked short. I used to hide from, from the people. So I keep on hiding my hair, my long hair, from, from, from the headmistress and from the teachers. I try to speak to my, my, my teachers, you know, in my school breaks, uh, in the lunch breaks you know about 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 Sikhism that I've, I've taken this this path of way and I have to keep this hair and the teachers actually know Sikhism the teacher says okay good but how are we going to explain to the headmistress 
they also in you know finding finding some challenge in them their, their self themselves finally until three days before the final exam have to come I didn't have any help or you know support from any Gurdwaras in Jakarta not even a single Gurdwara helped me by the time all of them all of the committee members all of the Pardans at the time said to me that look even we we don't keep our hair even we we don't have our turbans we can't help you come on you know just uh, you know, just just take in mind that Sikh is in your heart only. You know, no need to keep your hair. I honestly, that was really really bitter to me, and I had to I had to say harsh words towards them. I said, like, look, it is shameful to me to know you. Yeah, yeah. I I wish I I don't even know you in my life. Yeah, it was very painful for me to hear that. The Gurdwara, one of the Gurdwaras that I used to get engaged in the Seva there every Sunday, even the Pradhan told me over the phone when I was challenged. Three days, okay, three days before the final exam, I was called into the headmistress office, the nun's office. Look, you have, you, you, you have very long hair now. One of the rules of the school is before you entering, before you enter the exam room, you have to have your hair only only one centimeter long. Are you going to join the exam or are you going to just go with your religion? I was stuck with that question, and I said, "Like, look, sister, can I get you on the phone with the one of the gurdwaras pardan?" so that he can explain to you on the phone directly before you make any decisions yeah so she get me on the phone and i called the gurdwara pardon the gurdwara one of the gurdwaras that i used to get engaged in the seva there every sunday the pardon said over the phone look uh, well I don't need, I, I don't have to talk to your nun. It was on the it was on the what's it called uh, speaker speaker, uh, speaker mode. So the nun could hear everything clearly. My my you know the, my my conversation with the pardan of the gurdwara. He said like this, come on, just go, just do your exam and don't don't fight with your school. You know, just do your exam. Cut your hair for now. Even I don't keep your hair. I, I don't keep uh, keep my hair. You know. I don't have turban, you know, Sikh is your, in your heart only. When I heard that, it was a total, 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 total turn down in my life. How can I say anything further to my, my, my headmistress while I, I was explaining my level best, providing the headmistress with the books on Sikhism for her to study about the hair, the importance of hair, Sikhi Swarup in life of the Sikh. This Pardan, this head, the head of the Gurdwara, said things on the opposite side. So the headmistress were, were uh, the, the nun was laughing, laughing, just was laughing at like like heavily at me. And, and saying that, look, even your own people don't support you. What do you want to do? Just go back to Catholicism. That was the, the that was the answer from the nun, until I said that look, hang on. Can you hold for for ten fifteen minutes? Can I use your phone? I call my mom simply as like look, mom, I need you. Come, I'm in the big trouble in school at the moment. Come, I am in big trouble. My mom came to the school. Yeah. She was rushing. Because definitely she, she used to think that must be some big trouble, accident or something else, you know, happening in a school. And she found me hold in the nun's uh, office. So I explained everything to my mom. And very sad Sangati. The 
that was the day that I witnessed with my own eyes the kurbani that my mom did to me. She kneeled down before the nun, telling her that, look, I don't care if you want to call my son is an apostate, Catholic apostate or whatever it is, he's a Sikh, he's my son and I'm proud of him. I'm begging you, please, just let him enter the exam room with his top knot, hair, to, hair knot. He does this not for showing off, not for fashion or anything. He does this because it is his religion. It's one of the most important thing, one of the most important thing in, in his religion. And I am the one who told him not to be 100% sick, but to be 200% sick. I'm the one who told him. Yeah. My mom kneeled down in front of that nun. But what happened? That nun came out of her temper and, and just grabbed the scissors and, and, and snatched my, 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 my top knot by, by force and, and chopped my, 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 my jura by force. Mm. I felt like hell by that time. I feel like I don't want to be alive anymore. Inside my heart, I was... I was screaming and I was crying. I just said like Guru Maharaj, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, Baba Deep Singh Ji Maharaj, Baba Fateh Singh Ji Maharaj, kindly forgive me. I've become a bemuk now. I cannot show my face into you. I'm so, I'm so ashamed. My Judah was falling on, on, on the floor. I took my jura, I kept it on, on in, 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 in my pocket, yeah? I took out my school uniform to cover my head. I was so ashamed to come out from the nun's office with, you know, no jura anymore. Yeah. My mom hugged me outside and said to me, look, let's go home, son. Be brave. It is not your fault. It is not what you want. Yeah. She will pay for the karma. She will pay her karma. Go home. Let's go home. Try to forget everything. Your level best. So we went home and my mom told me like, look, try your level best to just to pass the exam. And I'm going to send you somewhere else so that you can live in your religion properly you can study and you can learn your religion even further because i still want you to be a 200 percent gursik yeah i try to complete my exam then my mom sent me to perth in australia to study I was barely 15 year old by the time. Yeah. I didn't know anyone in, in Perth. No context, nothing. I was alone in Perth. But I had to struggle. I didn't I didn't cry by the time I left Jakarta with smile. Yeah. I left Jakarta with smile and I said like look, Tan Guru Nanak, Tan Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj. If I have to do this for you. This is the happiest moment in my life. Let's do it. So I arrived in Perth. I continued my study. And uh, by that time, my hair starts growing again. I, I, I kept a jura. I began to tie the star every day with pride. Yeah. Then, Tan Guru Nanak, Tan Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. On my birthday, the time I was studying in Perth, on 16th birthday, my mom made me, uh, gave me a surprise, calling me on the phone to check my 
uh, you know, my small account, my, my, my bank account. She said, look, check your uh, bank account. I just wonder whether I've, uh, you know, I, you know the, the money that I've sent you has arrived or not. I said, why, why do you want to send me money? I never ask you for money, you know. My mom said to me like this, this is my birthday gift to you, not for you to, to go for shopping, no, no. But I want you to buy your ticket to any country that has Amrit Nichar going on. <laughs> take Amrit. Use that money to take Amrit. Go. So I began my research. That time, internet was already on, on this earth, yeah. So I began to search, you know, the further uh, uh, nearby Amrit Sanchar happening. And the closest place uh, to happen was in Singapore that time. So I came there and it was coincidentally happening uh, with the uh, darshan of Mahapurush, San Baba Daya Singh Yusur Singh Wali, from whom I was blessed highly with Sikhi and Upon getting Babaji's darshan, Babaji was so, 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 so in happy uh, looking at me. And from Babaji's, from the Dalpanth, I took the Amrit. And finally, I asked Babaji, should I change my name again? Okay. Babaji said, why? Guru Maharaj already gave you a good name. Welcome to the Dalpanth. Welcome to the Khalsa Panth. And be a great person. That was the message from Baba Daya Singhji to me at the time. So Babaji gave me also, you know, Baba Guru Bachan Singh at the time. Baba Guru Bachan Singh gave me his own uh, chola. Yeah. Baba Guru Bachan Singh is uh, Baba Daya Singhji's uh, younger son. So he gave me the cholas to wear. And Baba Daya Singh Ji told me, look, complete your, uh, what is it called, academic studies, then come join, join the Dalpanth for the further seva. I said, Sad Bachanji, because what? That time I already said to Baba Ji, look, I want to just quit my study. I just want to quit the university and come straight away to your charan, to the Dalpanth for the, you know, my seva throughout my life but babaji said no you have to complete your academic studies first because babaji said even baba guru bachan singh ji also said that at the time in the future in, in future we need some properly educated nyang singhs also in the panth yeah. academically properly educated so i completed my studies in uh, in perth in university in in edith Cohen university I completed the degree in uh, Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Religious Studies, also in uh, Social Geography. After that, I joined the Dalpanth, and until now, I've been in with Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj Kirpa. I've been in Seva in the, for for the for the Dalpanth. Guru Maharaj Kirpa Karan. Then, Okay. One of the things that made me interested in Sikhi so, so much was actually Kirtan also in the first class, first time. When it, during my uh, first days, uh, my, my early days visiting of Gurudwaras in Singapore, I was attracted with the, you know, the, the Ragi Jathas. I was say, I didn't understand anything by the time. No, not, not, not a single thing. But I only hear with my ears the way they sing, that attract me so much. So I began to search, you know, what are they doing actually? Oh, okay, that, that is what is called Kirtan by the time. And I began to, you know, learn tabla. I got, I, I, I got my first uh, pair of tabla from the Gurdwara there in Singapore. And I learned from, from the all-time ragis that time how to play basic tabla. And they even encouraged me to come on the stage, come, join us, so that you can practice how to play tabla properly, basic tabla. From there, my 
my interest in Kirtan has been developing further, further, and further until once I arrived in Perth, I was challenged that time, totally challenged because by the time Perth has no Perth had no Granthi at all, no Kirtani Sevak, nothing. So only the Sangats were doing Kirtan every Sunday. I used to play tabla for them and they challenged me, why don't you do Kirtan? You have to learn how to do Shabbat on the Waja, Kirtan. Learn. So, well, listening to the cassette, uh, cassettes by the time I tried to pick up the read of the Shabbat and learn from the Amrit Kirtan because I can read Gurmukhi by the time already properly from, from the trainings from the Granthis. So, at the beginning, I learned Kirtan by myself. Very simple, simple Shabbats only. Until I arrived in Punjab, I, Baba Daya Singh Ji sent me to learn from our great Ustad Ji, Sriman Sant, Baba Satkanwasi, Baba Meir Singh Ji Maharaj. Who is equal to my father? Mm. Baba Meher Singh Ji of Dalba Bidhi Chan Sahib is my great Ragvidya Ustad, Ragvidya Gurudev, who gave me all the Kajana in Ragvidya, Kirtan Vidya, Sangit Vidya. Baba Meher Singh Ji is also an elder Guru Bhai of the famous Bible Beer Singh Shromani Ragi. They used to live together. When, when they were young, they used to live together in, in a Dal, in a Dal Pant. They used to learn from one another, exchange knowledge one another, but Baba Meir Singh Ji is the senior, is the most senior amongst all the Puratan Ragis by the time. Baba Meir Singh Ji gave me a lot of knowledge in Kirtan Rag, and also I have uh, gained some knowledge on ragi uh, on, on rags from Pai Manjit Singh Jitar Bar Sahib Wale, uh, the son of uh, the famous all-time classical ragis named uh, Pai Piara Singh Ji of Patiala. And uh, along with the Kirtan, Baba Daya Singh Ji sent me to learn Kirtan properly. Also, Baba Ji also sent me to take Santhya, further Santhya in uh, Dasam Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Baba Ji trained me personally at, at the beginning, Baba Daya Singh Ji Maharaj. Mm -hmm. So, he used to sit on the Palanga, you know, in, in, in the Dera, in Sur Singh. And I used to sit next to him on the chair with, uh, you know, proper uh, clean clothing while reading the Poti out loud to make him listen to the, to, to the Bani. My early Dasam Guru Granth Sahib Santhya was from Baba Daya Singh Ji himself. Mm. Then further Baba Otar Singh Ji Maharaj, Baba Daya Singh Ji Maharaj the Vade Saputar, he gave me the further Santhya in Dasam Guru Granth Sahib until actually came Baba uh, came to Baba Ji's uh, own decision. Baba Daya Singh Ji said, look, look um, I'll send you to Hazur Sahib to study further and to complete your Santhya there in the Takat Sri Hajur Sahib itself. So Babaji sent me to meet uh, Gyani Pratap Singh. By that time was the head Granthi of uh, Takat Sahib, Takat Hajur Sahib. And Baba Daya Singh is actually Baba Daya Singh is Paneva. So for Baba Pratap Singh, Baba Daya Singh Ji is uh, is Baba Ji's uh, Baba Pratap Singh's Mama Ji. I learned from Gyani Pratap Singh Ji the complete Santhya of uh, Dasam Guru Granth Sahib Ji, as well as uh, you know history. I used to read uh, some uh, you know scripts from Suraj Prakash Granth. Also, when when Gyani Pratap Singh Ji used to do katha in uh, Takat Hajur Sahib, and Gyani Pratap Singh Ji of Hajur Sahib teaches me a lot of that uh, Bani Vidya. Apart from Gyani Pratap Singh Ji, I also learned 
I took my other Santhya in Dasam Guru Granth Sahib from two other scholars. Firstly, Mahant Ishar Singh Ji Maharaj of Buddha Dal, Shanmai Krodi, Anuva Takht. Mahant Ji gave me the second Santhya of uh, Dasam Guru Granth Sahib in Hajur Sahib, in Nanded itself, in, in Buddha Dal Shauni, in, uh, just behind uh, Langar Sahib Gurdwara. Then my third Santhya I took from again back in Singapore from Gyani Bikar Singh, the student of uh, Sant Guru Panjang Singh Pindrawale. So that's about the Santhya Vidya, about, about the Santhya Gurmat Vidya, and also about the Rag Vidya. Haji. My message to my brothers and sisters is very simple. Sikhi is a pathway of martyrdom. Sikhi is a pathway of Shahidi. Either you take it or you leave it. Guru Maharaj never beg for anything apart from our sincerity in following Sikhi. Joto Prem Kelan Ka Chao Sirtal Dali Gali Meri Aau Sirtal Dali Gali Meri Aau It Marg Pair Tari Jai Sir Di Jai Kaan Na Ki Jai Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Dev Mukhwaak hai. If we come to the pathway of Sikhi, come 100% at least. Remember, my brothers and my sisters, before you touch your hair, your beards with scissors, remember, this is Guru Maharaj's own, very, very own body part, limb. Yeah. One question I want to ask you all. If we take a knife and cut just one piece of our limb here, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the finger, that will, be, that will be very painful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very painful. That is only one small part of the finger. Can we imagine how hurtful it is when we cut our hair? So many of them uncountable, which is Guru Maharaj's own limb. What kind of Sikh is that who dare to cut their own Guru's limb? Think about that. Use this. Think about this. And Sikhi is not about being Punjabi or being Indian or what. Sikhi is for everyone. Yeah, Everyone can be a Sikh. But once we follow the pathway to Sikhism, Sikhi, follow the Sikhi, follow the pathway truthfully, then only Guru Maharaj will shower us with Kirpa. Otherwise, never expect everything, anything from Guru Maharaj if we can't even follow his teachings, his bachans. If we can't even follow Guru Maharaj's Maryada, why should we come to Gurudwara and beg for this and that? That is just being a bemuk, akirdgan, unthankful person. So, my brothers and my sisters, Let's come back to the Sikhi way of life. At the end of the day, we just want to take the Kushi of Guru Maharaj, not anyone else. I believe that if I can go through all my bitter life experiences that make me from nothing to become a Farla Darini Hang Singh right now, 
you all can do it even easier than me. Guru Maharaj Meher Kare. Guru Maharaj Kirpa Karan. Everything will be very, very easy for you all. Haji. Sade Farle di Bakshis hai. I I earned this farla from Tarnadal, Baba Kala Sahib, mm -hmm. Shida Di Misal, uh, Baba Di Singh Maharaj Di Misal, na. Tarnadal, Baba Kala Sahib, Baba Gajan Singh Ji, Meet Jathedar, mm -hmm. uh, Baba Makhan Singh Ji, Head Jathedar mm -hmm. of Tarnadal, One Ne Sanu Farla Di Tai. Te Jitu Dhe Bhai, Tusi, Pahli Vah Tusi Punjab Ghe, Haan Ji. O experience Kiddan Dha Si? My first experience when I arrived first, the first time in Punjab was actually overwhelming. Uh, a mixture of uh, hot and cold, actually. <laughs> it's very interesting. Very, very... It, it is a very good place, especially in, in, in the Dera side. But it was a very, very saddening fact to see, you know, the drug abuse that happening in Punjab. And a lot of people turning away from Sikhi by cutting their hair, uh, their beard, it is really a sad scenery for me. Because I come from far away from the other religion to this religion out of my deep love to the Sikhi Swarup, teachings of Guru Maharaj. <coughs> While Punjab was the birthplace of Sikhi. So, that scenery was really, that scenery is a, actually a, a sad scenery for me, a drug abuse. But we, Dal Bhavdidi Jan Sahib, our Nihangjate Bandis, we have been doing our best to do Sikhi Prachar. Tan Bhavdidi Jan Sahib Ji Maharaj, Tan Baba Deep Singh Shaheed. With Guruji's Kirpa, we have been doing, we have been trying to do Sikhi Prachar from village to village, um, making people come back to the Sikhi way of life through Amrit Sanchar. Mm. So let's pray for Punjab. Let's hope for the betterment in Punjab. But when I arrive in Hajur Sahib for the first time in my life, mm. I straight away fall in love with that place because what? Everyone was nearly all Sabbath Surat, at least all the Kesadaris. And when I see them come to the Takat Sab every morning with pride, saying with their loud voice, Wahi Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahi Guru Ji Ki Fateh to Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, I could feel the presence of Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj right in the Takat Sahib and see these Hajuri Sikhs really, really proud in their Sikhi. Chardi Kala in Sikhi, paying their respect to Guru Maharaj. And that is a very, 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 very pleasant place. That's why, you know, I, throughout my life, I took longer time live in Hajur Sahib rather, rather in Punjab. And Baba Daya Singh Maharaj, Antarjami, Jani Jan, therefore, he sent me to study in Hajur Sahib for a long time. And I, I've been living in, in Hajur Sahib uh, since then. Hanji. Jukara Shardu. Jukara Shardu. Jukara Shardu. Fateh Pavin Halu Jave. Shardu Sri Akal. Guru Bari Akal. Dekh Dekh Fateh. Guru Bari Akal Shardu. Armadan Fateh.